my blue vision started about five years ago. In my right eye, I would not be able to see things very well. And uh, I was able to drive, but uh, reading was difficult. I kept saying to my husband, the print is getting lighter and lighter in the newspaper. What are they doing, you know? But, uh, and that's where I noticed just more in reading. But as far as uh, seeing around the house, that was pretty good and I could drive. The first time I ever noticed the Charles Brunet syndrome was uh, looking out over the water here at the trees across the canal. And they were all covered with lovely pink flowers from head to bottom. And I mentioned it to my husband, and he said, there, there are no flowers over there, Joan. But uh, that would happen quite frequently. The way I reacted to it was that I just thought it was strange, and I thought maybe it had something to do with my vision. I really wasn't concerned about it as being a mental problem or anything. I just thought it was the way I was seen. It happened various times of the day. I noticed it more in the mornings when I would be sitting at the kitchen table and looking out at the trees and things. I would see the, the flowers. But it, it could also happen in the afternoon or someone's clothes might be a print that I knew they weren't a print. I mentioned it to two doctors and neither one of them knew what it was. So I was very relieved when I went to the low vision doctor, Mo, and she was familiar with it. Things that have helped me since I've had a little vision uh, was that the therapist came out and put some little um, dots on my washing machine and dryer and on my stove so that I could see what buttons I wanted to push. I also have been getting um, large print books from the National uh, Library of Congress that has a program for the disabled and uh, visually impaired people that send you books and tapes. I've been getting those and uh, enjoying them very much.